wrong. Nick, huh? This show is going to hell. <laughs> Laura, how you doing? Fine. Hey, little line down. I'm fine. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, with your jazzy stuff. Ah, yeah. Okay, name a kind of dog that makes a burglar think twice about robbing your house. A chihuahua. <laughs> Instead, he gonna high-five her about this time. You know yes. your job, don't you, friend? Yes, sir. Your job is to support her no matter what. That's, That's right. right. That's you know right. good and well. <laughs> Ain't a person in America yeah. expecting that to be up there. Oh, the vicious chihuahua. <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, yeah, there you go. Get your hair out the way, because I was just gonna call you Lynn. <laughs> you can call me whatever you want. I, How old are you, Caitlin? I'm 21. Yeah, I can't call you anything. <laughs> no, 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 Mr. Harvey's 53, very happy, and gonna, I'm gonna leave that way. Okay? All right, all right. My wife will kill the both of us. <laughs> <laughs> Hell. I'm you. Name a way you can make bathing a sexy experience. Steve, you can make love while you're bathing. You do realize at that moment that you're no longer bathing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Doing it in the bathtub. <laughs> Sean said, that's my baby. <laughs> Ingrid, how you doing? I'm good, Steve. I love your personality. Thank you, Steve. You should be married. I should. Steve. You, you really should. I, I'm telling you, I'm a I, I can't figure it out. You're very attractive. I know. You have beautiful teeth. I, you have a pretty I mean... smile. I don't know, Steve. Have you been engaged before? Yes, twice. <laughs> oh! Oh, I, Oh, you're crazy. No. <laughs> it had to be something. It was them. After I read your book, and I told no, them no, no, something... No, 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 oh. no, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I can't do that. Do not drag my book into this mess. <laughs> you don't take the book and sit down with your guy and go, Steve said... I'm See, that's what you did, <laughs> that, that right there. All that neck wagging. That's why you ain't got no man. <laughs> Name something you do when you realize you've run out of clean underwear. You get them from your wife, her drawers, her underwear. <laughs> you wear your wife's drawers. If you're, if you're out. You said you wear your wife's drawers. That's what you said. There's nothing to do with dirty underwear. That's a whole nother game. <laughs> Shauna says that you just wear your wife's drawers. I'm not even turning around. <laughs> okay, hi, Jesse. How you doing? Hello, how are you doing? I'm, I'm happily married and, and <laughs> all, trying to go to heaven. Well, I want you to, I'm very happy for you. Thank, thank God. Just those are things I say to myself when I'm in treacherous waters. I'm reading, reading your mind right reading now. Reading my mind? You mm -hmm. can't possibly I be hope... reading my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope to God you ain't reading my mind. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm oh. kind of hoping that the Lord ain't listening right now. Oh, no. At what age does a man no longer have the strength to fool around? 45. Name's... <laughs> I asked you, I said, at what age does a man no longer <laughs> have the strength to fool around? You crushed Hell me. Yeah. <laughs> You said uh, 45. <laughs> <laughs> the survey said. Uh, At what age does a man no longer have the strength to fool around? 39. This family here, boy, I tell you, you got a dim view of older men. Let's start that right now. I ask you, at what age does a man no longer have the strength to fool around? You said. 39! <laughs> For crying out loud! Who are these people that's coming into your club? <laughs> Survey said? Good answer. Oh. Okay. The number one answer is 100. <laughs> I can't
Because regardless as to what to you and your sister think, we still want it. Oh. We asked 100 married women, name someone who comes to your door that you might be tempted to have an affair with. My husband's best friend. Your husband's best friend. Her husband's best friend. <laughs> We've asked 100 married women. Are you married? No. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. What was... yeah. No. No, Mr. Stupid Host. <laughs> you think I'm gonna give up all this to some one guy? I'm sorry. Just thought you might. I'm sorry. We just... Well, we asked, um... A hundred very old married women <laughs> to name someone who comes to your door that you might be tempted to have an affair with. The taxi driver. The taxi driver. Good answer. Good answer. I've been in a lot of taxis in my day. These are not the hottest looking men. <laughs> that smoking hot taxi driver. <laughs> That's gonna be a little bit tougher this time, okay? So we're gonna put, we're gonna give you 25 seconds, okay? All right, let's turn around. Can I rub your hair for good luck? Can you rub my hair for, for good, good luck? luck? I, I don't. Please. Ma'am? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my mother asked me to. Oh, go ahead. On yeah. the back, on the back. <laughs> okay. Thank you. you know, your, your fingers kind of went down my neck a, a little bit. You like that? Yeah, oh. I like that. My wife's gonna shoot you. Sorry. I don't know, no, you're not sorry. <laughs> Name a sexy food you put on your mate's body when you're fooling around. Uh, I would have to say a liqueur. A, a liqueur. A liqueur? Yeah, like a liquor. Oh, liquor. Oh, I, excuse me. <laughs> you the, black, the, the, the black guy is not French, I'm sorry. <laughs> A liqueur. Oh, liquor. Oh, okay, liquor. A liqueur. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you one thing, though. High five, Dennis. <laughs> Whipped cream and liquor. All right, I'll tell you. Nuclear chemist. Goodness, man. That's, a, that's amazing to me. How? 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 Yeah, y'all yeah, know you're yeah. how? How? How stupid of a question. I'm sorry, excuse me. I, I tell jokes for a living, you're a nuclear chemist, get it? <laughs> Name a word or phrase that starts with pot. Potato. Pot potato. 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 <laughs> potato. It does. It does. Why are y'all clapping? <laughs> Does it start with pot? Yes, ma'am. Yes, <laughs> yes ma'am, it starts with pot. We all know. No one says pot-tato. <laughs> it starts with pot, you know. The Potomac starts with pot. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, just start walking towards okay. the Scott family. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing personal, I just wanna just okay. get a jump on it. Yeah, okay. Let's see if it's up there. Pot! Tato! I'm so sorry. See, you were gonna walk away from me. <laughs> You older, you know more than I do. I... <laughs> Forgive me, please. She's a wise woman. I'm not that much older. Please, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, but I, I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. Oh, man. Name something women buy to bring out the animal in a man. How about a stripper pole? That's a good answer? Good answer. Yeah. Oh, What's yeah. going on at the Scott House? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, that's, the wife said that's a good answer. That's right. <laughs> Stripper pole. That's right. Just fired that out on national TV. <laughs> well, looking for the stripper pole. <laughs> Tell me something a man might give a nickname to. His privates. I understand. I understand. We're trying <laughs> to stay on the air. <laughs> 40 years this show been on TV. Here you come, Mr. Sexy, and you wait till I become the host. <laughs> Let's see if your private parts are on the board. Obviously, this isn't the show I thought it was. <laughs> Name someone a man might admit to that he's cheating on his wife. I'm gonna think a little bit outside the box and I'm gonna say, his wife. Yeah. He tell his wife. Yes. Yes. He comes clean. You want to keep that marriage? He comes clean. Yeah. He comes Good clean. Answer. That's That's right. Right. Tell her before she finds out. Because if she finds out, that's a gone. That's it. That's it. I can't that's walk good. in the house and because you know she'll find out. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. This is this isn't about me. I'm sorry. <laughs> His wife. <laughs> Name the age when a man's physique is best. Thirty-five. I asked you to name the age when a man's physique is the best. You gave me hope with this answer. You said 35. Survey said five. It's starting to be over right yeah, around there, Toby. Yeah. It starts going downhill. Yeah. It's okay. But nice. Good answer. That was cute. But how old are you? I'm 53. Oh, you okay. reversed that. Oh, that's well, see, what that's what I was thinking. Have. That's where I got Yeah, I know. Up. But all this sexiness brought you nothing. I did. It did. I'm sorry. I it could, did. I can see it. it I know just... it. It but, threw me off. Yeah, I know. But Sorry. Uh, you want me to stop touching you? No. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, how are you? I'm doing fabulous. What do you do? Well, I'm a transportation supervisor and little yellow buses and the big buses all over town. Hey, that's amazing. You're that's better right. than me, because I, I, I'm not the guy for that job. Okay, I'll remember Sit that. Sit down in the back! <laughs> <laughs> I'll remember that. Name someone a man would be shocked to see pop out of a cake at his bachelor party. Well, I'm thinking his sister. Man. <laughs> wow. No. And if you knew my sisters, this, this cannot happen. My sister's 75 and she's saved. Okay, all right. She pop out of a cake. We're all going to hell. Your sister! Brandy, what do you think it is? Name a supermodel who's super rich. Michelle Bunchin. Yeah, good answer. Oh, yeah. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, whoever she says, I don't know the lady. Michelle Booty, what's her name? <laughs> well, hey, I didn't know. I don't know. What are you mad at me for? Hey, Howard family, they got two strikes. Oh, don't do that. I'm, you're Al Roker. <laughs> Al Roker doesn't give the kill you sign. You know anything about weather, Melton? Melton, <laughs> I'm talking to you. You know anything about the weather? Do I know anything about the weather? Yeah. It's cold outside. So you're just going to do this no matter what. <laughs> it's not really a threatening thing. It's, yeah, that's yeah. just his you thing. Don't know Name a household chore you love to see your wife do in the nude. The kitchen floor. Mop the kitchen floor. That's my Good husband down there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's your husband yeah. down there. Yeah. Yeah. That's my husband. Mop oh, the kitchen think, floor. Oh, he loved to see you mopping mop the kitchen floor. Mop the kitchen floor. 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 You got to mop the kitchen floor. Good answer. You got to you gotta do what? Mop the kitchen. You got to mop the kitchen floor. That's mop. it. That's mop. it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. I got news for you. I don't care what the chore is. We gonna want to see you naked doing it. Mopping the kitchen floor. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Melody, how you doing? Hi. We ask 100, 100 married men, name a household chore you love to see your wife do in the nude. Make up the bed. Make up the bed. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay. good. That's good. That's good. Do you have a motion that goes with that? No. You don't have a motion? No. Oh, you want me to give you one? <laughs> Let's see if it's up there making up the bed. <laughs> Name someone a man might not want to know that he uses Viagra. I would say the President of the United States. <laughs> All right, you guys. All right, good luck. All right. <laughs> I wanted to say you, but I sure steered away from you. <laughs> Dirk is looking for the. President of the United States. <laughs> you know what kills me, though, when the audience goes, oh, like you thought it had a shot. <laughs> Name's... Okay, let's whip that over. That would be reading the same question. And it's the President of the United States, just so you know. And the President... Yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. by far the <laughs> suckiest answer. <laughs> Since I've been the host, who the hell do you know even knows the president? I was, I was saving the answers for my team. We got two wars, a bad economy, a oil spill. He ain't worrying about you using no Viagra. <laughs> when it comes to divorce settlements, name a famous man whose ex-wife you'd love to be. I'm drawing a blank, but I'm gonna have to say Steve Harvey. I don't even know how to take that right now. It's, it's cow. <laughs> Steve Harvey! <laughs> oh, thank you, God. Okay. Woo! I give away a car. I'm, I'm gonna get naked. Ooh. Yeah. I'm gonna tell my friends. Yeah. yeah. Car, I might do the same thing. If you want a car, you might do the same yeah, thing. Might. Well, Dirk might not really <laughs> want that to happen, but just know that the host will be cheering oh, for right, you. All right. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's go. Name something that makes a kiss great. <laughs> Stacy. The tongue. The tongue! You only need 24 points for the win. I asked you to name something specific that strays. You said a cat. Cat was the number one answer. Hey, Terry, how you doing? I'm good. I'm nice good. To meet you. What do you nice do? To meet you. I work, uh, sell new homes in an active adult community here in Central Florida. Mm -hmm. what, what 55. Does... 55 and up. Oh, yeah. active. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, oh, like. <laughs> oh, 55. Oh, that's what they call them now. Active, active. adult. Community. Oh, they don't do senior citizens no. thing? They just call them active adults? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, su suppose they're just sitting on the porch. <laughs> they could be actively rocking. Rocking is an activity? <laughs> it, sure. Okay. Wow. Starts at 55? Mm -hmm. yes. You're getting close. I'm two years away from a retirement home. <laughs> what the hell is happening here? Norm? Yeah, hey, nice to meet you. What do you do? Uh, I work at the uh, best golf course in the greater Orlando area. What course? The Ritz Carlton. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be playing at the Ritz! Yes! 
My man, yes! Oh, thank you, God! What would you do if you saw a co-worker sleeping on the job? I would have to say, lay down next to him. <laughs> Take a little nap. Good answer, Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna just head on over that way. Okay? <laughs> I would lay down next to him. That was a good one. <laughs> nice shoes. Thank you. Nice shoes. My wife is a shoe girl. So am I. Yeah, I, all, most women are. <laughs> I've discovered that. God, the shoes she has. <laughs> hey, anyway, uh, Nina, you have nice... Wow, you do have nice shoes. You know, I just... No, I was just gonna throw it out since I did her, but then I went, wow! Hey, hey, hey! High five! It's okay. All right, ain't no hate here. I saw that little look on your face. Oh, she the only one got nice shoes on. I just went, okay. Here come that moment you gonna get. She the only one got nice shoes on. No, you got nice shoes too. Tell me another word for being drunk. Um, inebriated. Inebriated. Yes. Yeah, I got it. And I'm not the one to correct anybody, but. But you were doing like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> See, I sometimes when I have that trouble because of the size of my lips. Okay. <laughs> once I lick them, I can come through. Okay. But if I don't lick these puppies, <laughs> and nimi 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 <laughs> it's, it's gotta be up there. I had to go there. I, I have to I, it's what I thought of. I, I know, Abe, you know? I know, I, I know it's true, Abe, but yeah. I'm, I'm just trying to keep yeah. the show together yeah. for a season. Just yeah. one. You know, and just let me get a season in. Abe. <laughs> Nipples. Oh. All right, that's my son there. Yeah, I know that's it's your my son. son. I know it's your son. <laughs> thanks for bringing him, too. <laughs> Pam, I didn't ask you what you did, have I? What do you do? Fly homing pigeons. How do, you, how do you do I don't understand. You take them away and they fly home. Oh, I, I, I thought you meant you got on their back. <laughs> give me Gigi, give me pity, let's play. Celebrating and it's your turn. Come on. Okay. Okay. Gigi's out here waiting. I'm sorry, Gigi. We're on TV. This is a show. These people got jobs and stuff. You know, there's another show that comes on right after this. <laughs> Name a gripe a woman might have about her computer that she'd also have about her man. Christy. Sleeps too much. Sleeps too much. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeps too much. Oh, Gavin. It won't turn on? <laughs> it won't turn on. I know that right. Play on, play on. <laughs> Work your money, Gav. Yeah, it don't do nothing for me. It won't turn on. <laughs> Name the age when people's sex drive dwindles. 18. Name a button you <laughs> find on a video camera. Name the age when people's sex drive just dwindles. I mean, just falls off this shelf. They're down to nothing. You said 18. This kid's been busy. Survey said. 
Name something people sell on the street. What's up? And then I said, name something people sell on the street. You said, what's up? I got what you need. What's up? Let me have four of them. Four what's up? Give me five what's up in the back. Survey said, mm. Name a card game that might describe a woman's love. Roger. 21. Okay, player. 21. Oh. Robert? Poker. Well, well, you have to say it a little faster. Once you slow it down, it's something else. Poker! Karen, how you doing? I'm doing wonderful, Steve. What do you do? Well, until a couple of weeks ago, before Roger fired me, I was working with him. <laughs> he fired you? Yes. And how's that working out for you, Roger? <laughs> Great idea when you were in there playing Big Boss, wasn't it? Go home now. <laughs> so where are you sleeping now, Roger? At the job. Yeah, at the job. <laughs> Give me Jennifer. Give me Roe. Let's go. Okay. I've talked to her father. He has a gun. Okay. okay. Don't even get no into that. Hey, Julie, how you doing? Good. Uh, hey, I heard yesterday that you, you got grounded? Yeah. Yeah. Why, why'd you get grounded, Julia? Girls. You got grounded for girls? <laughs> wow. Wow. Hey, don't do that anymore, mister. <laughs> Name something that you eat that has the word French in front of it. Raina. Fries. Fries. Good, good, good. That's what I'm playing. Pass it. Okay. Hey. I'll I get, said we well, Wait till I ask you. Sorry, Steve. Get over there in your space okay, now. I okay, I'm scared of you. I'm scared of you. You are scaring me. It's your daughter. <laughs> we got this. Just all up in my face. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, Sherry. Hi. Well, tell me something about a caveman that a cave woman might think is sexy. How about his club? His yeah. club. <laughs> his club. <laughs> his big club. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, that's right. Name someone whose breast could be weapons of mass destruction. Gavin. Pamela Anderson. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Sorry. Pamela Anderson. <laughs> Give me a kind of bank that doesn't deal in money. Shoe bank. She said bank. The shoe bank. It doesn't matter. <laughs> We can call that answer in my forehead. It ain't gonna be up there. We're looking for the very fabulous shoe bank. <laughs> when a woman goes on a shopping spree, where does she hide the purchases from her husband? Sometimes she takes it over to her friend's house. Oh, right. yeah. Her friend's house. Her friend's house. Her friend. You know what? I, I, don't, I don't like it when she makes me participate. <laughs> I don't really be feeling it, but then she go, her friend's house. Over her friend's house. Over the friend's Wow. Name something that might happen if you laugh really, really hard. Meg. Pee your pants. Pee your pants. <laughs> A little bit of TT in the pants. You want to pass They're, it gonna play. Play. They're gonna play. They seem to notice and go back and get yourself together, Derek. As a stand-up, that's always been my goal. <laughs> to pee your pants? No, to make you. <laughs> Why would I want to stand there in front of all those people and just wet my pants? This grown man just stood up there and wet his pants while he was talking. <laughs> 
No, I, I want you all to wet your pants, but obviously, ooh, you've always wanted to wet your pants? No, 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 man. <laughs> Name something a department store Santa might hate about his job. The little kid peeing on his lap. The little kid peeing on his lap? What are you with the peeing stuff? The little kid peeing on the Santa's lap. We asked 100 women to fill in the blank. You can never have too many. And I'm gonna say children. All right, good answer. <laughs> you have to recognize how many I have. can never have too many children. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> Let's see if it's up there. Can never have too many children. <laughs> Name something you do at work that you wouldn't want your boss to see. We're going with sex, Steve. <laughs> what? <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> they just, they just own their job doing the nasty. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> Lady Di. <laughs> Di, oh, I ain't that so. Ooh, too many syllables. My head is hurting. It's her fault. Di, I'm a good We do die. I blow. Do the Deandra. Deandra, okay, help goes. me out. You saw me struggling. <laughs> Okay, Deandra, what do you do? I'm a subject matter expert for a technical support firm. <laughs> well, whatever you are, if you thought you heard a robber in your home, where would you hide? In another room. <laughs> in another room. In the other room! Uh, oh, yeah. Name an occupation in which you'd find a lot of neurotic people. Sonia. Striptease strip dancer. Striptease dancer. Yes. Okay, yeah, well, let's see. <laughs> Striptease dancers. <laughs> Jennifer? Porn star? A porn star. What, what's happening here? <laughs> a porno star? <laughs> really? Really? A porn star is an actor. <laughs> Have you ever seen a porno flick before? It's the worst acting people on the planet. They're not... Uh, congratulations! <laughs> Name a bad place to look for a good husband. Um, I would say prison. <laughs> <laughs> That amaze you though. <laughs> I know. When a woman goes down there and marries a guy that ain't ever getting out. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this is gonna be a great life together. <laughs> Prison. <laughs> Greg, how you doing, man? What do you do? Right, thanks. I'm a project manager for a construction company. Oh, I'm married okay. to Nicole for 11 years, and we have three beautiful kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she didn't meet me in prison. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, Greg. I'll do the joke. All right. You know. <laughs> good, <yeah. laughs> what would you do if you realized the beach you're at is a nude beach? I don't know how to do this to a 16-year-old, but <laughs> what would you do if, uh, you know, strictly hypothetical? I wouldn't do it, but maybe someone else strip too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I was hoping you said that. That's what your brother wanted to say, but a little too close to the mama down there, so. Take his clothes off, too. <laughs> Jessica, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? What do you do? I'm a stay-at-home mom to two kids. Xavier's three and Addison is three months. Okay. You know, I gotta tell you something. You ladies are busy. When you stay at home, mom, please, I, I respect that to the highest. Cause I, that's a, I've stayed home with my kids before. I would rather be driving nails into my own hands. <laughs> I've thought about than it. To stay at home with my kids. Name something that might be a foot long. 
How about a dog's leash? <laughs> Good answer. Your dog's leash. <laughs> Name something your body has that starts with the letter L. Lice. Lice? Lice, oh. <laughs> oh, oh my God. That's okay. That's okay. I didn't even think about that, okay. I know, but it can, you know, it can, you know. <laughs> Well, let's turn around, because it's okay. You know, you've got a partner here. Just relax, okay? I'm just, uh, you know. <laughs> Lice, oh. <laughs> I'm trying to get... <clears throat> All right, here we go. Then I said, name something your body has that starts with the letter L. You reminded everyone that we all sometimes are faced with the survey... Those lice. <laughs> survey said... <laughs> name something people practice doing in a sexy way. How about eating? Show me, show, show me that again, too. See? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's hot. That is hot. That's hot. I bet you, I bet you, they just sitting at that table looking at you, just wiping their mouth on. Huh? Ooh, this man, the way he, ooh, the way he wrapping that spaghetti around that fork. Lord, I can't tell you. Ooh, look how he pushed them peas on that fork. <laughs> you just an old sexy thing, you tell me. <laughs> Practice eating. <laughs> Hi, Jewel. Hi. I'm good. <laughs> oh, I'm scared of your answers. Okay. Listen carefully. Okay. If you woke up during surgery. Okay. <laughs> What would you hate to see the surgeon holding? Um, those things that spin, you know, the things that people oh. use to cut up people, but it spins? You know what I'm talking about? No, I have no idea. <laughs> like, 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 they cut, like, the top of trees with, like, lawnmower things. I'm well, trying to think of what the name is. This is the longest is. answer. I'm sorry. Okay. The judges are thinking it over. Good answer, Jewel. Okay. Good answer. <laughs> Crystal, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Like the way you got your eyeshadow go with your top. You see that? You got the me. I knew you were going to be there. I knew you were going to be there. I see you. I see you. You better do it. You better do it. You better do it. Oh, I love the poet like that. <laughs> okay, Crystal, tell me something. Name someone you hope not to run into at a nudist college. Your mom. Good answer. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Mama. Mama, wear your clothes. <laughs> Put your clothes on, Mama, what are you doing? <laughs> Mama? <laughs> your mother! <laughs> what would they be referring to if someone were talking about the M word? <laughs> Terry. Money. Money! <laughs> Repeat the question, Steve. Repeat the question? Yes, please. I, I we can't. can't. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that was the case. No. Y'all just getting me in all kinds of trouble. I told you I'm the new host. <laughs> We're going to play. Pass a play. play. They're going to play. Okay, that's fine. Okay, you go back over there and let me repeat your question. You're a good player. Thank you. Didn't I tell you that earlier? You did. You're a good player. Watch what I tell you. You're now a I'm good gonna, host. I'm, say that again. You're a good host, Tom. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You're the first, con okay. the first contestant to say that. 
Everybody else is looking for the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> Name a place a man might hide dirty magazines from his wife. Shay. His basement? In the basement. <laughs> oh. Mike. Under the mattress. Under the mattress. Better, ain't it? Well, that's, that's a lot better, but you, you, you're not supposed to have the number one answer, Mike. <laughs> we asked 100 married men, which of the seven dwarfs describes your wife in bed? <laughs> Terry! This is just to get up on the boards bashful? Bashful. Bashful! <laughs> Gwen, how you doing? Gracie. What do you do? I am an event planner, and at church, I am the choir director. If you were fixing a girl up on a blind date with Dracula, name something positive you might say about him. Cindy. He loves women. He loves women. Yeah. That's true. He loves women. <laughs> Sean. He's a good sucker. I'm so happy to meet you. Well, I'm happy to meet you too, Miss yeah, Pat. Thank what you. do you do? We have, Ed and I have eight children and 19 grandchildren. Wow. A good breeder. A good breeder. Hey. <laughs> right. didn't, didn't want to go there with you, Miss Pat. <laughs> Tell me something that shrinks body parts in cold pools. <laughs> Yeah that's, yeah, that's your mama. <laughs> Body parts in cold pools. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, mama done scored, so. <laughs> if you have a big enough casket, name something you really can take with you. Chuck. Money. Money! Cherie. A pet. You're dead. So you're gonna just kill your pet because you didn't make it? Oh my goodness. Oh, let's, let's hope Peter's not watching this episode here. Your dog. Two strikes, uh, Sheree. Your spouse? Yeah! Okay. Why not? Yeah! Spouse and the pet! Did yeah. not, did not you just kill your dog? Right! <laughs> so why not kill your spouse? Yeah. It's all about you, Sheree. Yeah! Oh, I got it. It's gotta be up there. Go on, kill, kill the spouse. <laughs> This is the most disheartening <laughs> game or feud I've played. I've only been the host this one season. Th yeah, I'm doing great, but this question is hurting me. <laughs> Name a part of a woman's body that's usually larger than a man's. Cherie. The chest. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the chest. <laughs> what? Steve, I'm 
gonna play. Oh, they're gonna play. Yeah. 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 I'm excited. Let's get to this one right away. I can't wait to hear these answers. Cindy. <laughs> Name a part of a woman's body that's usually larger than a man's. Her badonka donk derriere, her butt. <laughs> You scared me for a minute. I didn't know where you was going with this. Oh, but donk a donk, I was going, oh God. I didn't know, okay. The padonka donk, the thing. Yes. 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 This is my favorite question on the feud ever. Her lips. Yeah. Woo! I'll tell you right now, I have yet to run up into that situation. <laughs> you got lips bigger than these, it's gonna be a disaster. <laughs> you know, there is such a thing as too much kissing. <laughs> Almost killed a woman one time, <laughs> smothered the girl half to death. Those lips! <laughs> Ladies, wait, here we go. Wait. Name a part of a woman's body is usually larger than a man's. Her brain. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know what'll really tick me off? <laughs> if, it's up if it's up there, yeah, that's true. And I can't say nothing about it either, brother. I've seen it work out that way. Help us all, Father. The brain! Oh. No strikes, one answer left, Sandy. Name Ooh. a kind of store you better not catch your teenager in. A store that sells drugs. A store that sells... Illegal drugs. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh. The store that sells illegal drugs in the United States of America. These places don't go to just heroin and crack all over the place. They just in there just shopping. You get out of here, mister. You get out of here right now. Put that crack back. <laughs> Danica, name something that can ruin a kiss. Too much saliva. <laughs> Too much saliva. I gotta tell you something. I gotta tell you. Woo! I had a sloppy one one time in that world where I still think about it every night. Right here. Shakira? So you're newlywed, huh? Yes, sir. Great, great. How long have you been married? Uh, for since February, actually. What's his name? Leon. Say hi to Leon. Hi, Leon. I hi. love you. <laughs> <laughs> See, between now and February, all that's good. Next February, be different. Who that's you married true. to, Leon? <laughs> How long you been married? <laughs> About a year. <laughs> I don't know what happens. It just won't sit there. Sharika? Shakira. Shakira? Shakira. <laughs> Lady, <laughs> name something that can ruin a kiss. A mustache. A <laughs> long mustache. <laughs> that is not a good answer. <laughs> The jealous lady looking for a mustache. Oh. <laughs> yes, no, no, no. No. oh, don't try to fix it now. <laughs> Name something that a person with long legs might not be able to fit into. Long pants. <laughs> Good answer. Meet with me. 
Name something that a person with long legs might not be able to fit into. And then you said long pants. Sorry, Steve. And what's your job again? S say your job title. Come on, Steve. Say your job title. <laughs> work for a proxy solicitation company. And you want me, if I have mutual funds, to call you? No, I'll yes, call you. Yes, that's what you said. I'll don't, call you. Well, I don't want you to call me if you keep trying to put long-legged people <laughs> into long pants. And that ain't the question. I'm nervous. I know you're nervous, but you're a great player. Yes. So we may come back down to you. So start thinking, because okay. you cannot say the same thing. OK, <laughs> we're looking for them long pants. Do, do you want to... You phone shut phone? up! <laughs> Tell me something people like to replace as soon as it gets old. Wanda. Your mate. Your... Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> your... Your mate. <laughs> Name an excuse a guy gives a girl for not calling. Cherie. She's ugly. <laughs> I, I asked you for your number, but I've decided not to call because you're ugly. <laughs> oh, okay. She, she's ugly! What's the best way to get a bill collector off your back? Tell them the person passed away. Good answer. <laughs> yep, yep. But see, it says get the bill collector off your back. So you answer the phone. Hello, I'm dead. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. You talking to a dead person? Sorry, can't make any payments. On my way to heaven. Talk to you later. <laughs> See you later. They're dead. <laughs> Name something specific where your motto is the bigger the better. Kazan. Six. Old kids is watching. <laughs> Sex! <laughs> Name a place that might be a bad idea for a first date. Yolanda. A strip club. A strip club. <laughs> Especially if you're not the stripper. <laughs> yeah. okay. Strip club! You don't pass it. Play. They're gonna play. I don't know how. <laughs> Who are these 100 people? <laughs> Leland, how, how you, you doing, doing man? man? Come on. What do you do, man? I just started my own video production company. Okay, cool. Oh. That's why I'm here to get this money. I need some oh, equipment. Yeah. <laughs> I need some equipment, man. I need some equipment, man. You need that 20000 Yes, sir. Help That's me some equipment. Yes, sir. OK, I got you. I understand. I got your back. I got your back. Got your back. Uh -huh. This boy here. right here plays this game. Hey, man. How you doing, man? Man, I'm good. I'm good. We're going to get this money for this video oh, yeah. business. That's what you're here for, right? That's the only thing I'm here for. <laughs> It's One nothing to do mind, with man. camaraderie with the oh, family. No. No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. It's about business. Straight business. <laughs> this cat is funny to me. <laughs> He's pulling no punches. This ain't about family. Mm -mm. Look, this ain't about camaraderie. This is mm -mm. nothing. I need money for this business <laughs> I got. I need to buy some more cameras. <laughs> yeah, Ray G. What's going on with your jazzy self? <laughs> See you, girl. <laughs> what do you do when you ain't knocking them dead? Huh? I'm a substitute teacher during the day, and I'm looking for my fourth husband at night. <laughs> Can I read people or what? <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> this is gonna be so good. <laughs> 25, come on, baby. We need this, man. We got some good stuff. Let's see what we did. I asked you to name something a person might forget to put on if they leave the house in a hurry. You said <laughs> makeup. Survey said. Okay. okay. Number one answer was jacket or coat. Okay. 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 Then I said, name something you need to make a smoothie. <laughs> Ice cream. Survey said. Oh, okay. Right. 23. Okay. The number one answer was fruit. Okay. That's cool. I said, tell me the age when a boy starts going through puberty. You said 12. Survey said. Okay. 34, man. The number one answer was 13. I said, the name of state that you're not sure how to spell. You said Vermont. Survey said, come on. Yeah, it's about Mississippi, Tennessee, something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. Number one answer was Massachusetts. Oh, dang. Come on. You're 43 points away. We can get it. I said, name a material used to make sexy lingerie. You said silk. 43 points to get to the money, man. Survey said. $70. Oh, man. Oh, man. What a great win. When a celebrity is using a public bathroom, name something he doesn't want a fan coming up to ask him. Help. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, Steve. <laughs> My zipper stuck. <laughs> Asking for help! <laughs> Tell me a traffic sign that best describes your love life. <laughs> Melton? Stop sign. <laughs> it's gonna be all right. You, you win some more money, something will happen. Okay. Stop sign! <laughs> you wanna pass or play? They're gonna play, Kathy. Brandy, how you doing? Good, I'm great. Good, I know, I know, I know. You guys are some pretty good players, so let's get to it. Tell me traffic sign that best describes your love life. Well, I am a newlywed, so it is go! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's the part that just... <laughs> Yeah, your little daughter that grew up. <laughs> now she on national TV. <laughs> yeah! That's right! Yeah, you had to hear that too, though. <laughs> All right, let's go. Go! <laughs> Yvonne, how you doing? Doing good. What do you think? Okay, I already have two kids, so this is okay for me to say, slippery when wet. <laughs> oh, no! <God. laughs> Stop it. Stop it. We are trying to stay on the air. Little Miss Fast thing over here. Slippery when it's wet. Melton, back to you. This is getting better now. <laughs> Definitely a hazardous road. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, hey man. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah Milton. Hang in there. Hang in there. Even if these answers ain't up there, you pretty much nailed in your love life. Hazardous Road. <laughs> well, little sexy Brandy, you can save it for the family. Two strikes. If it's there, you're still in shape. If not, Turk family, get ready to steal. Brandy, 
Four-way intersection. <laughs> what the hell is happening at your house? Intersection. Okay, Turk family, it's your chance to steal. Get on the board first. Tell me the traffic sign that best describes your love life. Do not enter. Wow. <laughs> this is ugly. What is For the points, do not enter. <laughs> Melton, Melton, Melton. Let's pay attention here. All this, all these are for you. Yes, sir. Number four. <laughs> slow. <laughs> Number five. One way. Number seven. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, name something grandma might complain that grandpa does in the news. Watch TV. Watch his yeah. Grandpa yeah. sitting up there watching TV naked. <laughs> I like Grandpa. Oh, good job. Yeah. Woo. You know something, though? That's my goal one day. <laughs> just to be that old and free. <laughs> I don't care. I'll answer the doorbell same way. <laughs> uh, Sarah, name an expensive supermarket food. A shoplifter might slip into their pants. Lobster. <laughs> Why would you take a lobster and stick down your <laughs> who, 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 who would? Lobster. <laughs> There's not a guy living <laughs> that I know would stick a lobster <laughs> in his pants. Maybe if it's frozen or something. I don't care what it is. <laughs> and you're really not sticking anything frozen in your pants. I promise you that. <laughs> Man, that does not belong on the board. <laughs> Xavier, how you doing? How you doing? Pretty good. What pretty do you good. do? Well, I work for the local sheriff's department down in Jacksonville, Florida. I am a proud husband and a proud dad of a two-day-old baby girl. Yeah. Two days. Two days. Yeah, boy. It's your first one. The very first one. Yeah, yeah. You're not gonna believe it. Yeah. <laughs> they are so lovable at times. <laughs> Congratulations, though, man. Hey, we ask 100 men, tell me something you wear around the house that you never wear in public. I'm gonna say a bikini. <laughs> not, not me, Steve, not me. Do your thing, partner. <laughs> <laughs> bikini! <laughs> That's it. How you doing? I'm doing good. Oh, yeah, you're a gospel singer. Oh. <laughs> yes, I am. I hear your, your, your voice resonates, I'm a gospel Ooh. singer. Yes. Thank you. I know for sure <laughs> he'll be all right. Yeah. I, I know, know for sure. sure. Yeah. He'll be all right. Yes, sir. I know for sure. I know for sure. He'll be all right. It'll be all right. And if he ain't, yeah. it's I guess I will. That's automatic. <laughs> Tyra? Yes, Tyra. Okay. What school do you go to? Wolfson High School in Jacksonville, Florida. Woo! Home of the Wolfpack. All right. We ask 100 men, tell me something. Oh, jeez. Um, <clears throat> they, they asked 100 men. I didn't talk to the 100 men. They, they asked 100 men to tell me something you wear around the house that you'd never wear in public. 
Um, condoms? <laughs> Let's see if it's up there. <laughs> Condoms. <laughs> Name something people ask you to smell. Underwear. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. 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 It's your dad. Yeah. Yeah. Daddy That's surprised you with it. I don't smell him. I know. I know. I know. But he wants you to though. I know. That's, that's what's really tricky about this answer here. Damn Smell you. my underwear. <laughs> Violet, how you doing? I'm wonderful. NBA ref. Only female NBA ref. 13 years now. I've seen you. You do a great job, Thank too. you. Thank You're you. You're absolutely right. fearless. Right. Wonderful. Right. No, really, I was watching you going, this woman, really, you're making the calls. And you don't take any tries. I saw a couple technicals you gave, I thought. I'm good with keeping men in control, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Steve. Well, th thank you for bringing it up, but I, I have a wife, so. So, Violet, tell me. We ask 100 married women, name someone or something in the circus that best describes your husband in the bedroom. A donkey. Good answer, Good answer. A donkey. That was personal there. That <laughs> had nothing to do with the circus at all. I've never seen a donkey at the circus. You just wanted to vent that, obviously. Is, is he here? No. He'll be watching, though. So now you know, sir. <laughs> Sandra, name the reason you don't think making love in a bathtub would be so romantic. Not enough room. Ain't enough room in there. <laughs> You got to move around in there, Xander. <laughs> you need room. You got to get your leg out there. You got to stretch out. Where's these knobs? Where's all these faucets in the way? I need more room. Get out the way. <laughs> we need more room. Yeah. yeah. Here we go, Sherelle. Name a reason you don't think making love in the bathtub would be so romantic. Too slippery? It's too, too slippery. slippery. <laughs> we need a place with some grip. You got to be able to get that toe locked in in position. Yes, you got to have pushing. Yes, you got to be able to propel yourself. Can't be sliding. Too slippery. I told you. This is one of those questions where you really find out about people. They blowing through this. Yeah. There's no strikes, only one ass alert. This family has been in the bathtub. Juan, <laughs> let's go. Name a lie about her ex-husband a woman might tell her friends. The size. S size of his privates. <laughs> Look at me. Look, look at me. Don't make her laugh, please. Y'all got in a circle, <laughs> hugged up, and when you broke the circle, this is the answer <laughs> you want me to say yeah. in front of all the kids. Right. Right. Yeah. Dress it up a little bit. Say it, kids. Number go. one answer. Number one answer. <laughs> We're looking <laughs> for the size of this guy. Yeah! <laughs> Won't be using this one ever again. <laughs> Name a part of your body you think would sell for the most money. Chris. My biceps. Your biceps. <laughs> the gun. The gun. <laughs> Man. My buns. <laughs> I 
I knew it wasn't gonna be just a regular answer. I knew. Her buns. You want to pass the play? We're gonna play. We're gonna play, Chris. Rob, how you doing? Good, how are you? Great. <laughs> Come on, lean in a little bit. I'm gonna fix your tie. What do you do, Rob? I'm a high school student, and I'm an aspiring filmmaker. Oh, filmmaker. I've been in a few of them. <laughs> <laughs> gonna write any movies for some old black people to be in? Uh, I might now. <laughs> when I said that, I went, man, Steve, you shouldn't have said that. He just came right back and said, I might write one now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> High school student. Yeah, what grade you in? Uh, 11th. 11th, okay. A little nervous? Yeah. Yeah, don't worry A about little. It. Yeah, don't worry, amen. This is a piece of cake. This is what you do. You are a filmmaker. Yes! Yes. All right! Yeah. Yeah. Name one thing that's imported from Italy. Uh, Rome. <laughs> Let's go, Chris. You guys are good players. Rome, Rome was good. very important. I, Rome was, it was hot. When they, when they bought it over here, yeah. it's really when I started. It, <laughs> I then asked you to name the one thing that's imported from Italy. What have they bought over here that has meant the <laughs> most to you? Chris said, <laughs> when they ship Rome in, for 75 points, survey says, come on, Rome. <laughs> Number one answer was wine. On her honeymoon night, a woman puts on lingerie. What does a man put on? A condom. Obviously, they just got married and met in Vegas one night. And... <laughs> Condom. <laughs> Jared, on a honeymoon night, a woman puts on lingerie. What does a man put on? Maybe he's gonna put on a costume. A costume? <laughs> This is the guy. He's a great guy. And he's in a costume, yeah. <laughs> he's my hero. I'll be working them C's, I'll tell you that. <laughs> costume! <laughs> Karen, how you doing? Good hey, that is a sexy haircut. Oh, thank you very much. I like that. <laughs> Women who wear short hair have a lot of confidence. That's pretty oh. hot. <laughs> She's going, oh, wow, oh, wow. Plus. <laughs> what do you do? I am a realtor in the Boston area. Okay, well, if a man came in to buy a house and he's wearing really tight jeans, <laughs> name something you might see that he has in his pocket. Okay, this is something I normally wouldn't say, but <laughs> his package. The discussion that's going on between these four. Oh my God! That was a great answer. Oh, I wanted to say that myself. Wow. Well, Karen, what do you work, Karen? I don't anymore. <laughs> that's better than any joke I was going to tell. That was a good one. She's unemployed because she's looking at the guy's package. <laughs> that was a great answer, man. <laughs> if America's got talent, name a state where a lot of it can be found. Derek? United States. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 
If America's Got Talent, <laughs> name a state where a lot of it can be found. United States. <laughs> Karen? Boston. <laughs> oh, a state. Oh. Uh, Massachusetts. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> looking it's okay. For the, it's okay. Looking for the state of Boston. <laughs> Hey, Candace, name something you think of when you hear the word grind. Oh, Steve. Um, making love. That's my Ooh. girl. Good answer, good answer, good answer. Good answer, good answer. You ain't staying at home doing nothing, my <laughs> time. All right, making love. Hey, Gator, honey. how you doing? Good, good. Is that your real name, or...? They just call you Gator. It's a uh, nickname. Nickname Gator? Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gator, we ask 100 married men, name something about your wife you wouldn't dare criticize. Her face. Her face. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> you know, you and I'd be doing great if it wasn't for your face. <laughs> her face. Her face. Helen, how you doing? I am great. I like that haircut. Oh, thank you. It's rather jazzy on you. Yeah, and as stiff as a board. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you know, hairspray, that's what it's for. That's good. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> Name something a foursome might do. Doubles tennis. Doubles tennis. <laughs> Stephanie? Um, I would say make whoopee. Make whoopee? Yes, sir. With four people? <laughs> what the hell are you and the pilot doing? <laughs> What's the name of the base that you guys are on? Columbus Air Force Base Columbus in Columbus Air Force Base in Mississippi. Well, oh, yes, that, sir. We need to go down there and sign up. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, make it whoopee. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm yes, yes, yes. I know. I'm very sorry. I don't know. Good job, lady. Good job. <laughs> they surveyed 100 wild people. <laughs> happy birthday. Thank you. Did you say happy birthday? It's your birthday? No, I'm celebrating my seventh birthday. The kids did this for me. Seventieth birthday? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Well, happy birthday, Miss Helen. Get your little jazz itself. Got your little sexy hairstyle. Seventy. Work it out, girl. Yeah. Hey, get flossy with it. Turn seventy and have some pizzazz. <laughs> Tell me something your dog gets to do that you wish you could do. The dog gets to have sex with multiple other dogs. <laughs> Miss Judy, wow. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. A dog gets to have multiple sex with other dogs. With multiple partners. With multiple partners. <laughs> just randomly. Ran just out. Uh, just out, walk, going for a walk. At the park. <laughs> exactly. Down there and back at the restaurant. Absolutely. Just down there in the car. <laughs> just over there on the snow-covered hill. You have a dog. Well. I have that dream. I don't know if I have a dog, but... I love the answer you just gave, I'll tell you that. Got me thinking. You're not married? No, I'm not. Yeah. I do have a steady boyfriend, though. So just one? Just one. Oh. Just one. I'm not living the dream. You're not living the dream. No, God. Well, Let's find out if it's up there having <laughs> sex with multiple dogs that you don't know at random, just out in the street and back of parking lots, drinking heavy. <laughs> Name something people use as a partner when they practice kissing. <laughs> Tammy. The mirror. The mirror. <laughs> the mirror. <laughs> Rock. A relative. A, re a relative. A relative.
a relative. <laughs> really? Uh, you, you get to pass or play. We're gonna play. We're gonna play. <laughs> that was. I gotta tell you, a relative is not just another person. I can, I can tell you that. I don't care if it is your cousin. This is not who you want to practice on. This is it's against the law. It's going to jail. <laughs> wow. wow. Jamie, yes. name something people use as a partner when they practice kissing. Um. Come on, Jamie. You come let's on, go, baby. Let's on. go, Jay. Come The on. bedroom. Get in. Get in. So you just open up the door and just start practicing, huh? Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Just in the bedroom. Good answer. The bedroom. All right. Well, hold on one second. What I need for you to do is lean <laughs> off your podium and quit hollering in this thing like this. All I hear is you. Good answer. Good answer. Say it. That's the one we want. Say it. It's a good answer. Say it. That's all I'm hearing. I can't even host this show good. You just down there hollering in your mic. We asked 100 men, name a part of your body that's bigger than it was when you were 16. Your penis. Not so good. <laughs> I said the medical I'm terminology. I don't care what you said. <laughs> Could have said ding ling, winky, any damn thing. What the hell? It ain't gonna sound right. The medical term is almost worse. A slang term would at least be your ding a ling something. <laughs> your penis! Oh. We're, gonna, we're gonna keeping that answer? <laughs> okay. What? What the? Yeah, look at her answers. <laughs> you, think, you think that's shocking? <laughs> Where do you see this first one? We asked 100 Ooh. men to name a part of your body that's bigger than it was than when you were 16. <laughs> you calmly said <laughs> that. <laughs> Survey says <laughs> number one answer was stomach. All right. Stomach. That was close in the area. If your stomach is that big, you can't see it anyway. <laughs> Name something a woman does for her baby that she... Yes. Changes his diaper. Changes his diaper. <laughs> Name something a woman does for her baby that she also does for her hubby. So your big nasty man <laughs> just laying his little nasty self up there, just boo-booing on his big old funky tail, huh? <laughs> Change his diaper. <laughs> big Zoop, this ought to be good. She's standing right there. Name something that a woman does for her baby that she also does for her hubby. Come on. Bates him. 
Beta. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> you asked me, Steve. I gave you my answer. <laughs> I gave you my answer. Yeah. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, little T. I see you. <laughs> That's how you get a husband, girl. <laughs> Just run some bath water and bathe it. <laughs> Donna, queen of the family, tell me, what would you do if you noticed your boss forgot to zip up his fly? I'd point at it. You'd point. <laughs> I mean, I'd, I'd point it out. I'd point at it. I mean, oh, I'd just no. do this. You said you point at it. <laughs> now, I'm just gonna go down here with the pastor. <laughs> Reverend Randy? Yes, sir? The wife said she'd point at it. I'm just gonna say that, now let's me and you look and see if it's up there. She gonna point at it. Uh. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> but don't say anything, though, just... <laughs> okay. Randy, only one strike, man. What would you do if you noticed your boss forgot to zip up his fly? Zip it up for him. Because my wife was pointing at it, so I'm like. Pastor's gonna zip it up for him. Oh. What's up, baby? Oh, hey. oh all fellas. I've come down now, all yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, Steve Harvey. Hey, 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 fellas hey, up in here. Whoa, this is. These boys, all of them got heavy oh, hands. That's right. Hey, hey. This is the group of men right here. Yeah! Pow! Yeah. Yeah, he's putting it Hungry in man, this is for you, Brother Steve. <laughs> there you go. You just carry snacks. Yeah, all the time. Eddie. Get hungry. Hey, Eddie. Eddie. No, that's not. For all this to even be in your pocket. <laughs> this, yeah, Eddie, you got Eddie, it, brother. There you go. You get hungry look, later. Look how that would look. <laughs> it's really, that's, man, you blowing the look of the suit, Eddie. <laughs> Eddie, what do you do, man? I'm a concierge uh, in Chicago. And uh, I have a, a proposal for you from my boss. Uh, whenever you're in Chicago at Regents Park, you're welcome to stay at a VIP for free. For free, Stan. Okay. <laughs> for free. For free. Top, That's top, VIP top suite. Floor. Top floor. Top floor. That's where you used to be on the top floor. So yeah. Top floor. I like yeah. it on the top. Just above the yeah. clock. stuff on the top. Yeah. 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 Oh, stuff oh, on the top. Top off on Woo. the top. Yeah. Way high. Top. Way up high, look, look down. Top, yeah. top of all the Come big, on, nice preacher. furniture on That's right. Top. Name a state that ends with the letter A. Uh, Arkansas. Then I said, name a state that ends with the letter A. You said. <laughs> That's what you said? Oh, 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 you, they just threw the S on the end of there. That's what I think. They were talking about more than one Arkansas. Oh, okay. <laughs> Arkansas survey says. <laughs> Don't worry about it, man. Name a celebrity whose wife or girlfriend seems way out of his league. <laughs> Katie. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, they're gonna play. You know, when you said that answer, I was right there with you. I went, that's nah, not really up there. That's what I thought. Because Tom Cruise is like, you know, come on. You got $500 million. Nothing's out of your league. <laughs> I don't care what a guy looks like. If he's got $500 million, he's got a shot. <laughs> uh, I want him. Name something everybody knows about Cinderella. <laughs> Dustin. She was uh, homeless. <laughs> that's, that's, that's pretty shocking to me. That's a new one. Question is, name something everybody knows about Cinderella. I think we've got some late breaking news here, folks. I don't know about you, but this is gonna send shockwaves 
through the next bedtime story community. <laughs> Let's find out. Cinderella was homeless. <laughs> Sherilyn? Sherilyn. Sh huh? Sherilyn. Okay. Sorry okay. about that. I'm just saying. <laughs> It's okay. I everybody know, do it. I know everybody do it, but they, but when the stupid host do it, <laughs> <laughs> that's when you check him, though, huh? I check everybody. It's that's okay. good. Name something you hope never stops suddenly when you're riding on it. Your heart. Name something you hope never stops suddenly when you're riding on it. You said when you've jumped on top of your heart and you're just streaking down the street. God, please don't let this puppy stop. <laughs> Survey said... Aww. We asked 100 married men, name something your wife wears to bed that's a major turn on. <laughs> Todd. Flannel. Fl okay, all right. <laughs> all right. Flannel! Yeah! They're gonna play. They're gonna play. They're gonna play. Right. Todd, you're a little ticked off about that flannel, huh? <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's, that's a little bit of bother. How often do you think it happens? I'd say about, oh, every time that I get in trouble. <laughs> Yo, here comes the flannel, <laughs> yeah. huh? Yeah. I usually lay it out for her just, just in advance. Oh, you just oh, have yeah. it laid out? OK. Just, there you go. You know I've messed trouble. up. Here it here is. It is. <laughs> right there. April, how you doing? I'm fine, thank you. All right. So how often do you get the flannel? Um, there is not a single bit of flannel in my entire wardrobe. <laughs> we live in Florida, Steve. You live in Florida. Exactly. I, I, I really believe Todd. <laughs> <laughs> His answer sounded like it came from a place of pain. <laughs> and I'm gonna trust that it has happened to him. You may not think it's flannel. Maybe when you put it on, it comes across as flannel. <laughs> See the attitude Perhaps. you're giving us now? That's it's why I all think. in the perception, I guess. Okay, it's flannel, yeah. <laughs> it's flannel and every guy out there knows it's flannel. <laughs> okay, great. We ask 100 married men, name something your wife wears to bed that's a major turnoff. A headscarf. Oh, you've got that. Oh, oh, God. oh, God. oh yeah. The dreaded yeah, headscarf. <laughs> Tell me something people tell you, dear, when you were drunk, there's news to you. Talk to an ugly woman. Talk to an ugly woman. <laughs> Talking to the ugly babe in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Name something that starts with walk the blank. I'm going to say walk the yard. What are you talking about? <laughs> Look, man, I'm 53 years old. <laughs> Never once has a person ever come up to me and said, walk the yard. Uh, ever. No way. Ever. You don't know why you said that? Uh, OK, all right. <laughs> I, don't, I don't hear the little, good answer, good answer. <laughs> Oh, yeah. If it's there, we're going to sudden death. If it's not there, you're still alive. Walk the yard. Uh, walk the yard. <laughs> He'll stop it. You go walk the yard. <laughs> you know, if you're an inmate, <laughs> that means something. <laughs> they didn't ask 100 inmates this. They asked 100 free people. Pass the plate. Play! They're gonna play. Yes! <laughs> They're gonna play. <laughs> he got old. No, no, no. You just can't say your answer right oh, now. Sorry. No, we have to interview. <laughs> so, what do you do, uh, Carly? Steve, I actually own a farm and a cafe. 
You own a farm and a cafe. I do. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah me too. Yeah. Your initials are CC. CCC. CCC. Carly Christine Kerrigan, yes. <laughs> and they call you. Oh, you Double know. D. Oh, did she just bounce? Look at it. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. <laughs> I didn't mean to make anyone uncomfortable. <laughs> you can do that on Family Feud? <laughs> this is the greatest show I've ever had. <laughs> I love this country. <laughs> okay, CC, we ask a hundred women, name a reason you might not recognize your high school boyfriend. He got old. He got Good old. Answer. Come on, you got it. Yeah. 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 Come on, Megan. Come on, Mookie. Or you couldn't see him. <laughs> yeah, very true. <laughs> uh, <laughs> give me Carly, give me Darius. Get him, Carly, get him, yeah. yeah. Distract him. Distract him. Come on, there he is. Oh, hey, hey. Oh. What are you doing? Is that your wife? Oh, that's not your wife. Yeah, I'm like you, she's at home. Oh, oh, oh that yeah. explains the gaze. Uh -huh. Okay, that's yeah. just, Okay, that's... Okay, here we go. Top six answers are on the board. Are you serious, man? I'm looking right You're here. looking right there. No, you weren't. Yours is over here. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's hers. We asked 100 women, name something a man might do in the bathtub. Oh, you, okay, Darius. Sing. Sing. We asked 100 women, name something a man might do in the bathtub that would make you think he's really immature. Pass gas. <laughs> Passing gas. <laughs> We're gonna go. pass. You're gonna pass? We're gonna pass. Okay. You got out there and lost your mind, didn't you? Just jumping on the bus hall there. <laughs> hey, Dwayne, how you doing? All right, how about yourself? What do you do, man? Financial aid advisor at Morehouse College in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm also a professional drummer. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? Well, stop right there. You're what at Morehouse? <laughs> Financial aid advisor. Can I tell you something? My two sons, I just dropped them off at Morehouse College night before last. I heard that. <laughs> That's also my alma mater. That's good. Well, look out for my sons sure over will. there. They didn't get the financial aid package. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was hoping for that, but <laughs> they asked me to leave the meeting up. So. <laughs> hey, Janine, how you doing? Hi, I'm doing fantastic. So what do you do? I am actually the script supervisor for Saturday Night Live. But now Saturday Night Live, y'all been Saturday picking fun of me, though. No. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Not Keenan. Me. Well, Kent is a very funny <laughs> bit he does when but he I, loves you. I hosted uh, 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 Who Wants to Be a Millionaire one yes. time, and he yes. saw it. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> he was doing me on Saturday Night Live. Guess how many buttons I got on my suit? <laughs> 50. <laughs> I was dying laughing looking at this, but I pulled it up on YouTube. I was crying laughing. <laughs> Name a reason she might give a guy for not dating. Now, I swear, I would not say that. Yes, yes, you would. No, I wouldn't. Oh, you wouldn't say that? I wouldn't, that? but I think some girls might not because he's bald. Because he's bald. Yeah. yeah. But no, I would not say that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're not going to touch me after you said that one. I would never date you <laughs> because of you, Mr. Baldy. Oh. Yes! 
Tell me a place where you might see a dead body. You might see a dead body in the house. Person died of natural causes. Yes, good answer. Good answer. Good answer. I might see the body where? In their home. In a, in oh, a in house. Their home. Yes. At the house. At the house, yeah. Okay. <laughs> How would you see that? <laughs> hey, where are you folks going? You want to come in? Got something to show you. Just come on in here. My grandfather is right there. He didn't make it. Hey. Yeah, look at him. Still holding a beer. Look. <laughs> In your house. <laughs> Name a specific beverage people mix with alcohol. Rum. Oh. I said, name a specific beverage people mix with alcohol. <laughs> you, you're wasting no time. You said, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna be drunk no matter what you say. <laughs> Survey said. How long have you been wanting to play Family Feud with your family? Probably pretty much my whole life since... Yeah? I, right around when Richard Dawson, I was just a little girl and I've been watching it my whole life. Wow. So. Finally it's a got pretty, here, huh? Yeah. And it's a big deal. No pressure. Yes. <laughs> when you're at home, you know all the answers. You can hear bing, 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 <laughs> bing. You're just ripping them off. You got a lot of pressure. I'm telling jokes. You just out here going, oh, Lord. <laughs> but you all are playing well. So that's good. You. You're doing an awesome job. I am we love you. So. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I'll be here all week, folks. <laughs> Give me a big city in Texas. Three seconds. Little Boot. <laughs> Little Boot, Texas. Big, big city, big, big, and then you right out the gate says little boot. Okay. Little big boot. Let's look for little. Let's look for little big boot, Texas. <laughs> Dennis, one strike. What do teenagers always want to get? And the parents say no way. Tattoo. Yes, <laughs> sir. Steve Harvey, right on the back. Man, my son, man. He turned no 18, yeah, he came in with one. Uh, and I always told I him not mean. to get a tattoo. He took <laughs> yeah. his little And they put it in places you don't, you don't want to look at. The dumbest tattoo. Yep. You are so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Just the dumbest thing. When you're 40, you are not going to feel the same way about this tattoo. I'm telling you, your body going to change. <laughs> Careful, ladies, you get a little butterfly right there. Things get to pulling. All of a sudden, you got a moth. <laughs> the tattoo! <laughs> Betsy! <laughs> oh, you just recently came in with something crazy, didn't you? <laughs> I know. Well, you were young. Come on. You've, you've never... I'm not very wild. Oh, you're not very wild. Well, but, okay. It's just a joke. Just, I was only kidding. I was just kidding. <laughs> Hi, Betsy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> We're on a show called Christian Life. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> Name something teenagers tell parents they want to get and parents say no way. What about plastic surgery? Plastic. Oh, plastic surgery. <laughs> Catherine Hepburn, how are you today? I'm doing very well, thank you. Well, tell me so, something that you dread about going to the doctor. Getting undressed. Getting yeah, undressed. Good answer. Let's get naked. Yeah. <laughs> that gown. Yes. Never fits. It's open. Yeah, I have fun with mine. <laughs> sure you do. I put mine on in the front, <laughs> and I don't tie it. 
You gotta have fun with I'll it. I'll do that next time. Yeah, I'll don't try don't let it okay. be such a. Make it trying for them. them. <laughs> they they them. Don't you sit there over there and go. go through the embarrassment. Embarrass them. I, thank you. Don't put it on. Just leave it folded <laughs> next to you. Just be sitting on that tissue, just naked. <laughs> How you doing, Doc? How's everybody? Come on in. I do it all the time. Ali, my man, what you say, baby? High school student on your way to Pepperdine College. That's major. You've got to have a nice GPA, which is? 3.8. I have never. Never seen a three nothing. <laughs> <laughs> if I got in the twos, my daddy threw a party at the house. <laughs> y'all, y'all, what's up, man? You got it. Cruiserweight champ two times. Yeah, he's cruiserweight champ twice, world champ. <laughs> nice, nice. So let's just hope he gets all his answers right and it won't be a problem today. <laughs> Great. Name an occasion when a husband should send his wife flowers. If I hold you, you close, that's what they do on TV. Okay, I'll cool. I'm going with you. <laughs> let's try to make it happen. Is this cool with Yaya? That's what I really need to know right <laughs> it's okay. If it gives us $20,000. If I give you $20,000, he'll let you hug me harder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Name an occasion when a husband should send his wife flowers. You said? <laughs> Valentine's Day survey said. Oh. Damn. That would have been number one answer was anniversary. Amina, name an occupation where a man can work with his shirt off. Teacher. Good answer. Okay. okay. Oh, good answer. No, it's not. No, it's not. That's a that's that's that's, that's a lawsuit. <laughs> Teacher. Oh. Beagle family? Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, I'm so nervous. That had a bunch of syllables in it. <laughs> I love you. I love you, Thank Janet. you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Lori, how you doing? Oh, fine, fine, what fine, do you do? Steve. I'm a mother and a grandmother and the wife of my husband of 50 years. 50? <laughs> That's major. That's what I'm blessed. It don't get done like that too much nowadays. Right. My mom and dad were married for 64 years. Amen. Amen. Mm. 64. Yeah. Yeah. If mine lasts 64 years, I'll be 113. <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. In which country are men the biggest playboys? Italy. Oh. Italy. Okay. You play this game pretty uh, good. I'm Italian. You're Italian. I'm Italian. Uh -huh. oh. Well. Oh. oh. He got you, didn't gotcha. he? That's how he got you. <laughs> he was Getty the Playboy. No, no, no. no. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was just okay. throwing it out there. Okay. Just doing jokes. <laughs> I think a tip is don't make grandma angry. Yeah, I, I see that. I see that, Rob. Don't, don't tick off grandma. Okay, I'm just... What do you think would be the first word or words spoken by Donald Trump's little son? Archie. Maybe the one, I'm sorry, give me the money. <laughs> first time on TV? Yes, sir. Yes. A little trouble right there. You know. Yes. What did you say, though? I said, give me the money. Give me the money. That's what we're going to look for up there. Because at first it sounded like you said, I need mean, it. <laughs> give me the money. <laughs> pass the playoff. All right. They're going to play this again. <laughs> this dude is so nervous. <laughs> Hang in there, Archie. You'll be all right, man. We're going to let your wife talk a little bit, OK? <laughs> hey, Patricia, how you doing? I'm doing good, Steve. How are you doing? What do you do, darling? I am a teacher and a student at International College of Bible Theology. Oh, Bible Theology. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, the whole family. 
Don't be funny. <laughs> they all pastors, even the boy with that stuff in his ear. <laughs> I really want to find out what that is. <laughs> Big blocks of wood in his ear. He's a youth pastor. Yeah. Got something to do with a tribe. <laughs> Anybody down at your Bible college got them in their ears? No, sir. Okay. <laughs> Just checking with you, that's all. Name a medication people are embarrassed to admit taking. Rob. Preparation H! Preparation H! You better believe it. Preparation H! I'm gonna say. Pass or play, We're gonna play, baby. We're gonna play, baby. They're gonna play right now. Bro. <laughs> hey, hey Lauren. Hello, Steve. How you doing? I'm having a baby soon. Woo! Are yeah. you? Yeah. We're having a little boy. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, Seth is doing. Yeah, I know, baby. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> You think I'm looking at him, wait till the baby sees him. <laughs> I'm sure an infant's gonna wanna know, well, why does daddy have the cookies in his ear? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lori, name a medication people are embarrassed to admit taking. I'm gonna say laxatives. <laughs> yeah! Not laxatives. Yeah, this is who I took the gig right here. This moment like this. Youth pastor. I'm a youth pastor, baby. My you know man. it. Show him. Let me, Show. Oh, oh, hold on one second. <laughs> when y'all picking the youth pastors uh -huh. at the church. Right. Man. Well, you know, it helps that he's my son-in-law. We had to get him a job, you know. <laughs> You can't pay for answers like that. <laughs> That's better than anything I could have wrote. <laughs> hey, Seth, name a medication that people are embarrassed to admit taking. ADD medication. <laughs> you need uh, the name Adderall. of it. Huh? Adderall. And he knows the name of it, too. Adderall. <laughs> Adderall. Besides the bed, name some place people like to make love. Janice? The car. Car? Oh, yeah, well. You got it, all right, it works. now. In the car! Oh! <laughs> How about outside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about outside? More specific. On a blanket! What do you mean by outside? Okay, okay. In the park. My girl right here ain't playing with you. Outside on the blanket in the park. <laughs> Name something a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house. Rob. Neck, huh? I don't want to see that either. I know you're right, okay? Uh, nobody wants to see a naked grandma, but... What are the chances of you breaking in the house and running up into your grandmama naked? Just looking for a naked grandmama in the house. Outside, in the woods, on the blanket. Woods. Grandma! That's the occupant person that's there. One. A dog. Mm. A dog! We're gonna play. Ray Jean, what do you do for a living? Well, I'm a substitute teacher, but I've been married three times, and I'm looking for number four. 
Go ahead. <laughs> oh, that's what we needed out there. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, we got a little love connection here. Okay, fellas, if you're out there, she's looking for somebody who's exciting. Uh, a a little, gambler. A gambler. Uh, someone will take me out to eat because I don't like to cook. She don't like to cook. Okay. Don't want nobody with a... Uh, you don't want the little scooter guy. No. No, no you a scooter. You're pulling up in a scooter everywhere we go. Just, she don't want that. She I already had that. You had that already? Uh, well... <laughs> well, we don't want to know what happened to the... <laughs> poor guy probably just... He died. He died. <laughs> He died and she laughed, so. <laughs> obviously, the little scooter got away from him. <laughs> he rolled out into some traffic. Oh, I'm in trouble. But I think she has a sense of humor, so that's what she's saying. Anybody out there? <laughs> Look at this kid right here. <laughs> she said, boy, you can't begin to spell cougar. <laughs> I like that, that was really good. <laughs> Ray G. What's up, girl? <laughs> Not much. I know you, you haven't ready. found me a husband yet. Yeah, I, I, I'm trying. I'm shooting. I'm going to put it out there one more time. Okay. Looking for a guy. <laughs> Takes good care of us. Is there an age? Give me an age range. Well, much younger than me. Much younger than you. Okay. Yeah. We're doing the cougar thing. <laughs> We're doing the cougar thing. We're looking at some little young boy that doesn't know anything. <laughs> Willing to be taught, <laughs> trained, and used. <laughs> well, look, somebody, you raised your hand. <laughs> he went, I think I can do that. <laughs> hey, come, come on. Ooh, Ooh, your name making my head hurt. <laughs> Kamoa. You close. You Kamua. close. You got it. <laughs> Kamoa, also known as... Kimo Sabe. Kimo Sabe. Okay, that's what I heard him say. I was trying to come up with something. That's Lady, it. Lady, what I'm might sorry. Smokey the Bear do to a camper who won't put out his campfire? Talk to him. Talk to him. Yeah, come on over here and let me talk to you. <laughs> Name something you do when the air conditioning goes on the fritz. Uh, get naked. <laughs> The answer just fired me off right here. Here we go, let's take a shot at this. Here you go, Mike, this is your kid. <laughs> Name something you do when the air conditioning goes on the fritz. You said, without hesitation, you just fired up. Let's get naked! Survey said. <laughs> Cause you know what that's like, you know. You walk in your house and you just, the air conditioner's off and you just go, whoo, Lord. <laughs> What the hell going on in here? I don't know who didn't pay the bill, but I got pop, pop that. Fine, right, let's get this. All right. Hey, man. Hello. You have no idea. I followed you everywhere. I know your every move. You've been around, you, boy. You want not Foley. Hug? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not afraid to hug. I got it. Okay. All right, all right. Hey, hey there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Name a place where people not shy about making out in public. Uh, the, the grocery store? That's a good one. <laughs> 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 I need to go grocery shopping with her. Freezer, freezer section. section. No, you do that all the time? In the freezer section. <laughs> in the freezer section? Heck, sounds great to me. Yes, I'd love to go grocery shopping with you, yes. <laughs> Yes, right now I have my entire marriage on the line, but yes. Excuse me, Marjorie, I'm going grocery shopping with the TNA ladies. We'll be, we'll be in the freezer section. The grocery store! Ah. How many X-rated movies have you seen? 18. Name an activity of How many X-rated movies have you seen? <laughs> Jay just went on and put this one over the wall. I'm a guy. What he said? <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> Last week. <laughs> Not the answer you want on the family feud. You guys asked it. I know. <laughs> Survey said.
Number one answer, none. What? <laughs> There's a bunch of liars out there. Liars. Everybody's lying. Name some information your new boyfriend might confess to you. That he has an STD. Yeah. I don't know if you've been watching the show, but all of her answers are the most pleasant, sexiest things you could say. Well, let's see if it's there. Let's look for the very lovely and soft STD. Oh. Be better. Name something men fear about getting older. Prostate problems. You said prostate, I know. I did. The big thing is the prostate exam. That's right. You know, I go yearly, I hate it. I hate the little <laughs> methods they use. Yeah. Try to make you get in your yeah. elbows on the table, smile. I know. <laughs> I'm not smiling, I'm not coughing, just go ahead. Yeah. This is the part that I kill. It kills me when the doctor goes, you have to relax. It's not a relaxing moment for me. Well, I'm just standing over there going, just do your thing. Ah, oh, yeah. It's one of the most tightening moments of my life. Hear the glove popping. <laughs> Back there, got this little tube in your hand. The whole process is tightening me up even more. And I got this guy back there talking about relax. The hell am I gonna relax? All right. The prostate. <laughs> Name something you and your spouse do together that might be too much togetherness. Make love. Make love. <laughs> uh, about sick of him, huh? <laughs> okay. Too much of this going on in our house. This is just, I don't want to be here anymore. Making love! <laughs> Give me a famous person named Dick. Moby Dick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Famous person. <laughs> We're looking for famous person named Mr. Mr. Moby Dick. <laughs> Latarsha? Yes. I got it right? You did. Whew, wow. <laughs> a lot of vowels in there. <laughs> if it wasn't for his wife, name something a man might never do on Sunday. Get out of bed. <laughs> Get out of bed. <laughs> hey, Vanessa, how you doing? Hey, how you doing, Steve? Vanessa, what do you do? I'm a speech pathologist. <laughs> you got to be listening to me going, what in the world happened to him? <laughs> really, I'm... I do coaching on the side. <laughs> I'm, I'm just joking. <laughs> Vanessa, how you doing today? I'm doing well, see. Why are you laughing? You laughing at your cousin's answer? No, I'm laughing at you. Okay. <laughs> Name a reason why someone might leave a house through a window. They lock themselves in the house with the bolt lock, the extra lock on top. I'm just remembering what I've seen on the board. <laughs> and I'm gonna just check a little something out. See yep, sure is. It's different. It's different? Okay, you said you lock yourself in. I, get, I don't know how different. <laughs> Maybe you spell lock with two K's. Good answer. Good answer, Vanessa. Oh, yes, a good answer, good answer. Okay, you ready? I gotta encourage myself. Good answer, I know. Vanessa. Good <laughs> Name answer. a reason why someone might leave a house through a window. Dead bowl is stuck. Why the, would you get that? Like, you know, the dead bowl is stuck. Why yes. don't I get it? Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm sorry, Steve. I'll tell you what. 
Now, let's just go with this one right here. Dead boat is stuck! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. I'm sorry. I thought that was the stupidest answer, but obviously, you know something. There's got to be two other people in the hundred. I know. I know. But it's up there. And you went. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Oh God. This is... Give me another word for throw up. This is a nursing word. I hope everybody knows it. Emesis. What? <laughs> Good answer. That is the yeah. medical term no. for vomit. That's the medical term? Yes, it is. It really Emesis. Emesis. Yes, sir. I hope it's up there. You hope it's Good up answer. there. Good <laughs> answer. Only... Stop it. You've never heard that before. Yes, you have. No, one, no they yes, haven't. <laughs> no one in here is a doctor. You don't know what that is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Everybody back, there's an Emesis. <laughs> Enema? Yeah. <laughs> I've had an enema and it made me throw up. <laughs> but an emis, no one knows that. Emesis. Emesis. <laughs> oh, 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 now you're gonna now be funky funny. with it too. <laughs> emesis, stupid. Good answer. We're looking for the one word only she knows. <laughs> emesis. <laughs> Uh, oh. Oh. Okay. I was hoping that was up there, Thank Sherry. You, me too. I don't know what I'd have done if it was. I'd have just dove off into the crowd. <laughs> Cameron. What's going on? Big sexy. Ladies' man. Yeah. <laughs> so you're on national TV now. So when you make the announcement to the ladies that you're a ladies' man, there's always one lady who thinks she's <laughs> the lady. And you've told her she is the lady. Now you just looked in that camera with your stupid self. <laughs> oh, well, they're not going nowhere. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so young. <laughs> oh, you just don't know. They not only go away, they take stuff with them when they leave. Yes, they do. <laughs> how you doing, man? You doing all right. Where you folks from? We from Chicago, by way of J-Town, Jolio! Yeah, where the prison at? That's right. Yeah, I work I, in one of them. You work in one of the prisons? I yes, know. yes. I like this combination, man. You did that nice. Right on, right on. You did that we nice. We were trying to impress you, Steve. No, no, you did it. Yeah. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> <laughs> Name something you might want if you live next door to a nudist. A reason to go over there. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you need me to go in there and get some sugar or something? <laughs> they making too much noise over there. You want me to go over there and say something? Uh, but I'll go over there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we need a reason to go over there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll tell you something, Don. That was a good answer, man. Name something a woman carries in her purse that a man carries in his pants. A condom. <laughs> <laughs> It's a true answer yeah. that you're giving. I'm just, you know. Just... I, they take a poll, and I think it's, <laughs> I think out of 100 people, somebody would say that. Let's just turn around and see if it's up there. It probably is, which is going to make me throw up a little bit. The condom! <laughs> yeah. I know you said, I don't do this, but, you know, you sure knew the answer right away. I have a hot husband in the audience. You have a hot husband? Yes, I do. Do you? Well, yes, he's in the is. audience. Well, he's got a hot wife, so hey, <laughs> let's make it work. Where's the hot husband at? He's right there waving. Oh, that's the guy that don't told the joke hot, the other Steve? show. Don't I think he's hot? No, not at all. As long as he floats your boat, he everything's floats great. Boat. Steven, how you doing, I'm man? very good. How are you? What do you do, sir? I'm a general contractor and a real estate developer. But wow. most important, I'm a proud husband to that beautiful girl right down the row here, Anna Maria. Wow, oh, there you go, jackpot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. absolutely. Oh. We marry good-looking women. 
Absolutely. That's what we've done. We've yes, married yeah. up. You and I... <laughs> you and I, I Stephen, are not worthy Beyond. of the women we have. Oh, you couldn't say it more. We are more ever true. proving the truth. ourselves to be worthy of their mere presence and love. Not worthy. And when we are allowed to partake of this love, it is one of the most gratifying moments of our life. Absolutely. And it drives us <laughs> to work harder every day to provide for the family that we've donned in their mere presence. Amen. Amen. Where have you been? My wife is in the back. <laughs> Name something that starts with the word belly. Belly jelly. Did you say belly jelly? Yeah, that's what I said. It's humiliating, isn't it? <laughs> it is. You know, national team. Look at that camera right over there. Belly. Say that answer again. Belly jelly. Your buddies at work. Wow. When they see this, you're done. <laughs> Here we go. Looking for belly jelly. Yeah. Why do they call you blue cheese? Why do they call me blue cheese? Because I be dressing. <laughs> I don't know how he knew to ask me that, but I'm glad you came. Tabitha, name something that some people do sexier than others. Um, dress, they dress how they dress. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Wow. Especially you, Steve. Say that again. Especially you, Steve. My man. <laughs> how they dress. <laughs> Carol, how you doing, sweetheart? I'm great, thank you. What do you do, ma'am? Uh, actually, I'm his wife most of the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when, I, when I'm not working, and I have a horse uh, boarding barn. My daughter wants a horse. Ooh, it's, I it's have a, one for you. One for me? Yeah. yeah. I got a ranch in Texas. It's got a barn with 11 stalls on it, showers and everything. No horses in it. Fill up your barn. See right there, I just asked for one horse. <laughs> yeah, let's just move on. Horses. Okay, she said, horses. <laughs> this is a nice lady right here. Horses. <laughs> Don't get smart, young fella. <laughs> Amy, how are you today? I'm great. Good, good. And tell me something a man grabs a hold of with both hands. His axe. His axe. Oh, axe. Axe. Ah. <laughs> good answer. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Man just standing there and just grabs his axe <laughs> with both hands. <laughs> James, how you doing? Good, sir. Come on, James. What do you do for a living, man? Right now, I'm in the shift into my destiny. Excuse me? I'm shifting into my destiny. Oh, shifting? You scared me to death. <laughs> <laughs> well, they just used the bathroom in the pool. <laughs> and I don't like... Dimples. You don't like dimples in your tie? No, sir. No. <laughs> if you don't put a dimple in your tie, it lays flat. Personally, I don't like dimples. You can't tell nobody can about what you like personally. <laughs> Jay, you, that's your tie. Jay, that's, that's my tie. This is everybody's tie. He got a dimple in his tie. He got a dimple in his tie. Operative word is he. Well, let's just move on. <laughs> Name something that grown men do in the swimming pool that's very immature. Pass gas. Wow, this dude Woo! right here. <laughs> Pass gas. Yeah! Name some news that makes you both happy and a little sad. Candy. Death. Well, Candy, who do you know that just died and you went out and threw the big party? Nobody, thankfully. Okay, well, let's see what's been A death! 
Name some news that makes you both happy and a little sad. Well, Steve, I gotta go with divorce. <laughs> Well, Steve? <laughs> Divorce! <laughs> Give me some news that makes you both happy and a little sad. I'm gonna say losing a best friend. Good answer, good answer. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> losing a best friend. <laughs> we asked 100 married women. Name something you'd like to give your husband when he acts like a child. Susan. A bottle. A bottle. <laughs> Mike. A spanking. A spanking. <laughs> even when I'm not bad. <laughs> Mike, said, <laughs> Mike said, even when I'm not bad. <laughs> Let's go for spanking. You want to pass the play, Mike? They're going to play. Tracy, how you doing? Fine, Steve. You're Mike's wife, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Big Mike just let it out on national TV. He likes a spanking, even when he's not bad. <laughs> So let's no, just no. let's just move on. Okay. Then. Okay. Uh, we ask a hundred married women. Name something you'd like to give your husband when he acts like a child. Take away some privileges. Take away some privileges. <laughs> there goes the spanking. <laughs> Mike said, "There goes the spanking." <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> You're funnier than me, Mike. That's <laughs> <it. laughs> Take away the privileges. <laughs> Mike, you saw it going right out the window, didn't you? And she said, take away the privileges. Every guy in here went, oh, God. Name something that gets passed around. Oh Chris. A joint. A joint. <laughs> Can I leave? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Now, Chris, I don't know what hundred people you thought we were talking to at some <laughs> nice little mall across good old America, but I'm pretty sure the people didn't tell the survey people, hey, an illegal drug. <laughs> Let's turn around and see how many I weed heads are out there with Chris. <laughs> A joint. This is when you know we're going to hell. <laughs> okay, Tracy, only four answers top it, so. The collection played at church. <laughs> now she's got the halo you know and I got the horns. <laughs> I like, the, I, like, I like the way you tried to stop us from going to hell. That, you, Mr. You Evil Boy, passing, a, passing around the little thing with this funny smell. Looking for some saving here. Church place. Oh. It's, it's less than the joint. <laughs> Big Mike, what do you think it is? Name something a man buys as one size fits all. Um... I'm gonna go with condoms. Yes! <laughs> Sorry. We go to commercial break, I'm gonna share something with you. <laughs> condoms! <laughs> Name something you wish your husband wasn't so comfortable doing around you. Tracy? Farting. He, just, he just, just, just whenever he feel like it. 
on your way out the door to church. He just... Oh, yeah. Just cut him. Yeah. Your mama come through the door. Hey, mama. Ha-ka. Yeah, and he's training my daughter, too. Well, this guy's ruthless. <laughs> Passing gas thing. <laughs> Tracy. Going to the bathroom. I mean, what do you mean just going to the bathroom? What do you mean? Oh, you know what I mean. No, I don't. No, I don't really don't. <laughs> okay, if I'm in the bathroom getting ready and he decides to come in and take a dump. <laughs> You're in there putting your makeup on and stuff, and he just comes in here and just starts pulling his pants down and just sitting there. Yeah. You poor thing. Thank you. Now, listen, cut this camera right here. If you're a guy out there, don't you ever walk in the bathroom, one of these poor little women standing there trying to beautify themselves, and you come in there and burn the brows off of them. We're looking for walking in there and just start to just fire in the hole. <laughs> yeah. My man, I've been waiting all day. <laughs> Alex, how you hey, doing, man? Hey, how's it going, I'm all right. What you doing right. for a living? Well, um, I'm an entrepreneur and I... Yeah, and, uh... I knew it. <laughs> yeah, all right, man. <laughs> what are you entrepreneuring? Well, uh... <laughs> You know, pretty much anything that makes money, but I double at night as a Walmart employee. And I, uh, I also go to... I've been waiting to come talk to him since the show started. <laughs> I pretty much do anything I can during the day, but at night, I double as a Walmart <laughs> Oh, this is good. Oh, this is good, man. I also go to school, though, too, with radio production, you know, just a little class, you know. Just yeah. whatever I can do to, to do it, I do it. Yeah. Anything you can do to do it, you do it. Yeah. <laughs> I love what, love what, love what love this guy right here. See, you don't understand. The reason my heart is so overfilled with joy right now is because all my family just like this. <laughs> it's like I'm talking to my relatives. These are all my cousins. Yeah, <laughs> whatever it is to do, that's what I do. <laughs> and I do it till it can't be done no more. Hey, Casey, how hey, you doing, man? Good nice knot. Thank you. in a little bit. You okay. Did a good job. I'm going to just tighten it up. What do you do for a living, Case? I'm an outside sales representative for a company called City Grid, outside advertising. Oh, yeah? Online okay. advertising. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, That's uh, good. I like to dance. And you like to dance? I like to dance. Ballroom dancing? Or... Uh, we do salsa. everything. You salsa. Just, uh, salsa? That's salsa ones. You a hot salsa dancer? Oh, I'm a machine. <laughs> a machine? I'm a machine, yeah. I can't pass this up. Yeah. Okay. No. No. Oh, Hell yeah. Boom. Come on. Uh, no. Come on around here. Oh, you got to no, no, come no, on. No, no, no. That's it. That's it. I ain't mad at you, man. I ain't mad at you, Casey. All right. Tracy, how you doing today? I'm great. Good. Well, when people fall asleep at night, tell me something that they are still clutching in their hands. I really don't want to say it. But themselves. Yes. And your answer again, Tracy, is? Themselves. Themselves. <laughs> well. <laughs> Family. Family view. <laughs> People watching this in the daytime. What did little, little old Miss Tracy say? Clutching yourselves. <laughs> What is appendage? <laughs> That's a name for it? Um, yeah, I've had yeah. friends call it like Apache or <laughs> a Rapaho or Big Angus.
Name something Angelina Jolie has a lot of. A lot of lips. <laughs> Don't sound a little strange coming from me, but here we go. Angelina Jolie has a lot of lips. <laughs> if a lot of lips make you sexy, I mean, hell, yeah, let's just let them hang open. Don't quit smiling. <laughs> Name an occasion when a wife might break out her sexy lingerie. When she didn't make dinner. his brother's reaction. None of that old, hey, good answer, good answer. They went, oh. <laughs> when she doesn't make the dinner. Let me tell you something, you're 18. Yeah. If your wife doesn't make you dinner, you sure ain't getting some lingerie. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. <laughs> Heidi, how you doing? I am very well, thank you. What do you do, ma'am? I am a wife, a mother, a teacher at a classical school here in Florida, and I am desperately waiting to be a grandmother. This little boy needs to get moving. <laughs> <laughs> she has baby clothes already. She has baby clothes already? Mm -hmm. A closet full. Are, are you expecting? No, <laughs> not at all. No. Wait a minute, I'm Mom, just Heidi, like hoping. Heidi, Heidi, you know, Heidi, the kids are they're not even pregnant yet. You're buying babies. Well, they've been clothes. married a year and a half. Well, that's too <laughs> So what have you bought so far? A whole bin of clothing and a little uh horse. little horsey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have. <laughs> pray for me, brother. <laughs> okay. Okay. When the pastor says pray for me, I got to move on. Yeah. Name something a dog hopes to find in dog heaven. I knew it. Heidi? A little uh, hoochie mama dog. A little, huh? a little hoochie mama dog. A little hoochie mama dog. Yeah. Heidi. What? Hey, it's something to have fun with. My <laughs> word, dog. A little hoochie mama dog. <laughs> so, Tracy, name a reality show most people want to appear on. Teen mom. Teen mom. Okay, wait, the one where it's teenage mothers? <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> that's all right, that's good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Tracy, I'm right. are you the I'm... one that really wants the baby? <laughs> yes, but I'm not buying the clothes. You're not buying the clothes? So. Okay, something's going on here. We're looking for oh teen way. mom. <laughs> Name a kind of crack. Lesson. Crackhead. <laughs> I, uh, I work for the largest uh, paycheck road company in the country. I'm motivated, I'm highly intelligent, I have a degree. My answer is crackhead. <laughs> Let's go look for the crackhead. Hey, sorry. You shut up. <laughs> Luke, um, two answers can top that. I'm gonna try sidewalk. Sidewalk. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I'm gonna play it. You know, when Richard Dawson was doing this show, <laughs> Crackhead hadn't even been invented yet. <laughs> Name something a person gets rid of so he can feel free. Man, I don't, I don't like saying this, but they're children. <laughs> Ooh. I thought we don't have kids. <laughs> Maybe not in a bad way, like this. <laughs> you can fix that. Okay, see, the two of you don't have children. <laughs> so see, you don't know. They can tell you. <laughs> We can never get rid of you. 
and you had two strikes. I'm gonna just walk on over here. <laughs> and just get rid of your kids. <laughs> Tell me something that's known as a blood sucker. <laughs> Laura. A man. I didn't mean that answer. I didn't know you meant it. Yes, you did. Just the anger with which it was. You know, man is a good answer, but a man. That, 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 that's what. That's what scared us right there. Computer. We're looking for the man. And then if you and Greg put together 200 points, tell everybody what you win. $20,000. We need this 20, man. I know. It's $5 a point. This ain't cutting it. Especially if we're going to have a kid you know. in the next yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, so what's, what's all this winning $5 a point? $415. It's five of y'all. That's like three. That's like When three. you split that money, that's $80. <laughs> that's like four diapers. Something. That ain't nothing. <laughs> And if we don't have a grandbaby soon, we? Yes, we. Yes, it's we. Yes, it's we, Lou. I'm involved in the family business now. I've been talking to your mom, Heidi, and Heidi told me to pressure you. Baby's gonna come out with a mustache. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, your baby will be sexy. Name a breed of dog that starts with the letter C. A cute dog? (laughs) Good answer! Good answer. That's a a really nice answer. It's better to say something than nothing, right? In this this case, it's the same thing. Looking for the cute dog. Name something a ladies' man has that drives the ladies wild. No children. <laughs> yes, yes. No children. <laughs> Name a word or phrase that starts with hook. Steve, we're gonna say hooked on you. You're a singer. Hooked on you, yeah, yeah. Woo! It's the same, boy. It ain't going to be up there, but you can sing, though. Hooked on you. What do you do for a living, girl? I'm a singer and a songwriter, yeah. Well, you can sing, God bless you. Yeah, yeah, you can sing. I saw that right there. Yeah. yeah. It, who was that next to you? This is my lovely wife, Satura. Is that how you got her? That's how I got her. Exactly. That is how he got me. Just That's that how he way. Got That's you. how he got me. He did, for real. The first time I heard him sing, I met him after church and I proposed to him. And now we're married. <laughs> Two years. Act like a lady. <laughs> Think like, Think like, like a, a man. man. <laughs> yeah, I see you. Amy? Yes. How you doing? Great. What do you do? I work for an engineering firm. Okay, that's good. How long have you been doing that? About a year now. About a year? Mm-hmm. Okay. You like it? Um, I do. I liked my old career, too. Shh, shh, shh. No, that's not... Okay. That, that's not what you want to say. Okay, because my boss is probably He's going to be watching you. <laughs> Since you like your old career so much, he might have you go back to it. Okay. <laughs> Should we redo when you ask me to tell you something? Yeah, we're going to edit this out. So what do you do, Amy? Well, I work for an engineering firm. How long have you been doing it? About a year. You like it? I love it. Absolutely. (laughs) Wow, this is refreshing to meet people who are happy with their work. (laughs) So, Amy, if your neighbors were new to tell me something you wouldn't want to see them doing in their birthday suits. I don't want to see them exercising. (laughs) Exercising outside. Wait a minute, man. That's a Steve Harvey tie. <laughs> oh. Oh, the whole family's got that. <laughs> yeah. The whole family. Oh, God, I love it. 
I love this guy. I love this is great. Let me hug the kids. <laughs> great time with you, my grandma. I love that. Hey, hug the wife. Yeah. Hug the wife. Get the I shopping. have my idea. You get the shopping? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yesterday. What a great family. <laughs> Name a specific place where you'd be shocked to find your parents making out. Sex on the beach. Uh -huh. Woo! In the sand. Late night with the moon just shivering over the ocean. Late Whoa. night with the moon shivering over the ocean. Sorry, Dad. Waves just washing up on your mom and your daddy. Whoa. Watch the sand. Sand plans. all up on them where it ain't got no business being. Seagulls flying black. This is amazing. It makes me frown. Little see. crabs running by just biting on your mom and daddy. You don't know. <laughs> What's going on? I've heard Woo! kids running by throwing the ball, needing therapy. Therapy. Oh, yeah. Your mom and daddy having sex on the beach. Is it Chevis? Chevis. How you doing, man? I'm what do you do well. for a living? I am a collections manager for a large bank. Chevis, how long you been married, man? Three years. All right, been good. You like yes. it? It's yes. a good deal. Any kids? Two. All right, here we go, man. This is for the fan. What's their name? Say hello, man. You... Jalen, Naomi. Daddy's speaking to you. <laughs> <laughs> this is when you're on national TV for the first time. Jason, Naomi, Daddy's speaking to you. I work for a very large collection agency. <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> What's the sexiest vegetable in America? Delaney. An apple. An apple? Zucchini. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Zucchini. <laughs> hey, Mark. Nice How you nice doing, to meet man? You. Nice to meet you. What do you do, man? I do timeshare rental and resale. Wow, okay. That's pretty good. Thank good you. business. That's all right. You want to buy one? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he said, you want to buy one? <laughs> I, um, I hope my wife ain't watching. <laughs> she buys everything. <laughs> hey, we ask this to 100 men. Mark, name a good place to break up with a girl so she doesn't make a scene. I think maybe through, like, email or text message. Let's email her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did, you, did you see the women in the audience? <laughs> <laughs> Dog. <laughs> Name something about himself that a man might avoid telling a date. Patrice. He's a liar. He's a liar. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, uh, <laughs> I lie. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Let's look for... <laughs> He don't want to let her know that he lies. <laughs> what do you do in your car when you think no one is watching? Jason. I dance. You dance? <laughs> okay, Jason says you dance. <laughs> Jackie? Drink. Huh? Drink. You drink? Yeah, alcohol. Drinking alcohol. You drink alcohol <laughs> when no one's watching? <laughs> you just... Drinking in the car when ain't nobody looking. <laughs> Jason starts drinking, ain't nobody looking. <laughs> Name something romantic your husband hasn't done in a long time. Kissed her passionately. <laughs> he said, well, hell, who has? <laughs> Such a guy, man. Mike. Oh. 
There you go. Woo! On national TV. That's brownie points, Mike. That's how you do it. That's going to go so far. Her girlfriends and her job and everything. Honey, when he leaned over and kissed you like that, I just wanted to melt like a dish of butter. <laughs> Man, that's good. <laughs> Kissed her passionately in the mouth on national TV.